Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English learning lessons. Today, we're going to explore and practice some simple sentences in English. Are you ready, Bella? Yes, teacher. I'm ready to learn English. Let's start with an important sentence. My name is. This sentence is used to introduce yourself. For example, I can say, my name is Isabella. Can you introduce yourself using this sentence? Yes, teacher. I can. My name is Bella. I'm proud of you, Bella. Now, let's learn another sentence for telling someone your age. For instance, I can say, I am 38 years old. Can you try telling me your age? Yes, teacher. I can try. I am 6 years old. You are so smart, Bella. Now, let's move on to sentences using the present simple structure. The present simple is used to talk about things we do regularly. For example, I go to school, or I play soccer. These sentences show our routine or habits. Can you make a sentence using the present simple structure? I eat breakfast every morning. Are you right? You're right, Bella. That's a great example. Now, let's practice a few more sentences in the present simple. I'll give you a word, and you can create a sentence using it. Ready? Yes, I'm ready to learn more sentences. All right, the example is, read. Can you make a sentence using it? I always read books before bedtime to learn new things. Wonderful, Bella. Reading before bedtime is a great habit. Now, let's try another word. How about dance? I dance at my dance class every Saturday and Sunday. I want to be the best dancer in the future. I'm so proud of you, Bella. Dancing is so much fun. Now, let's do one more word. The word is, study. I study English because I want to travel around the world. Studying every day will help you succeed in school and in life. Now, let's take a moment to understand the grammar rule of these sentences. In the sentence, I go to school, I is the subject. The subject is the person or thing that performs the action in the sentence. The verb go is in its base form because the subject, I, doesn't require any changes. We use the base form of the verb for most subjects, like, I, you, we, and they. However, when the subject is, he, she, or it, we usually add an s, or s, to the verb. For example, he goes to school, or, she eats breakfast. This helps us talk about routines and habits in the present simple tense. So, remember, when the subject is, I, we use the base form of the verb without any changes. So, when I say, I go, there's no s at the end of the verb, but when I say, he goes, I add s to the verb. Exactly, Bella, you've got it. When the subject is, I, like in, I go, we use the base form of the verb. But when the subject is, he, she, or it, we add an s or s to the verb. This is a grammar rule that helps us talk about things we do regularly or state facts. Keep practicing, and it will become even more natural to you. You're doing amazing.